human is really born of my experiences in government trying to make change happen in the UK. I worked for David Cameron for, for years in Downing Street. I've been living in America four years. I live out in California, so I've been observing what's going on. I have a political tech startup out in California. I've been not that um, much involved in the actual day-to-day -day political debate. But honestly, if I think that that notion of of, of promoting real competition in the economy. So you don't allow these corporations to, to accumulate all this power. That, to me, is a very conservative approach. Now, it may not be the approach of the current Republicans. That's a different okay, thing. So Hi, how are you doing? Of course, we met you. last year. It's so lovely to see you. you. Of course, I remember. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank it's you. lovely to see you. I really enjoyed our conversation. Was it that it, 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 above a very loud party thing, but we managed actually loud. to have a real and conversation. You know, I was actually, I was on my way to London and trying to work on a politics piece, and I was trying to track you down, and I did not so totally succeed. Right, so well, here we are. I'm here you now. Are. Okay, how are you? Juliana, you can put us in touch, can't you, if we, because we, because we, we met, we met, we met last year, and then we kind of lost contact. We lost contact. each other, yeah. but now we've found Juliana's, like, usual. Exactly. Yeah. Right about Chobani. <laughs> there were some political things. Yeah. So sorry. So what? Just as I was leaving, so we moved because so, uh, because of like my job you. in the government. I Rachel was. Uh, we were sort of stuck in London, and Rachel was doing her global job for Google from London. So that meant a hell of a lot of travel back and forth. And when our second son was born, uh, it was just too much, and so we decided to move. Um, and just before I left, the head of Random House in the UK came to see me and said, um, why don't you do a book? And he said, I don't want to do a book. And I didn't know what I was going to be doing. And the only thing I had fixed up was teaching at Stanford. And I, I had no sense of what my next move would be. So I, I wasn't really thinking about that. And anyway, I thought she meant one of those philosophy um, inside my days in Downing Street. You know, that kind of thing. I hate that kind of stuff. So I thought, I'm not going to do that. I just said no. But then she kept badgering me. And then by that time, I got to Stanford and I've been reflecting a bit and knew what I was doing in terms of starting my, my business crowd pack and so on. And then I kind of settled into thinking this might be an interesting idea and um, actually I've got something to say that I feel very strongly about. And so that's when I got to this, because I, well, what I asked myself was actually, because it was basically, a, remember the original version of the book was this incredibly long list of everything I think, about everything. And I Exactly, I know, it was ridiculous. And I, and I remember the title that we, that, that we had for it was, was Rethink Everything. Literally, that was exactly. And it was so long, you said, we've got to kind of focus it. And then I started thinking about um, themes. Anyway, and, and, the, and basically, I, the reason I got to it was that I said, OK, what is the stuff that I end up going on about to people when I'm at, when I'm at dinners or whatever? And, and it ended up being this, this notion that everything has become so big and bureaucratic and dehumanized. And that's true in government, and it's true in the economy, and, it's, and so that's, that's where it all came from.